When my son was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, I guess I can say, imagine you're thrown into the middle of the ocean and you're surrounded by sharks. You have a choice. You can either be friends with the sharks or you die. And so we had to be friends with type 1 and we had to learn as much as we could and we had to do everything we could as parents to keep him safe and well maintained and well managed. It is a constant 24-7. My son Mason was diagnosed at 16 months old. He was in diabetic ketoacidosis. It was probably the most frightening, scary, and terrifying time in our lives. For Mason, we did multiple daily injections and we had to finger poke. And that finger poking to get his blood glucose would be done 10 to 20 times a day. And that's based on an okay day. That's not based on having lows or illness or anything of that nature. The CGM provides real-time glucose readings that enable us to have alerts of lows, highs, we're able to act. Having a CGM also enables us to share his glucose readings with our caregiving team, our clinicians, the school, and being a parent, I'm able to know my son's blood sugars at any given time throughout the day, which is imperative in his care. There have been many times that Mason's Dexcom has alerted us through the day and more so in the evening or the nighttime when everyone is sleeping. We now are able to sleep through the night. Without these alerts and alarms, Mason may not wake up. Before we had our CGM, I would have to go into his room and finger poke him every hour and a half to two hours to ensure that he was in safe range. If he wasn't in safe range, I would have to give him glucose, sugar, fast acting, a juice box, and wait for that to come up. Now, with his CGM, it's giving me a 20 minute leeway of where we are heading so I can proactively act and keep him in a better range. We have paid for over seven years out of pocket for Mason's Dexcom. This is something we will not and cannot live without. We have had to make some pretty hard financial decisions. We've had to look at budgets, cut back where needed. We traded in our newer vehicles. We drive older vehicles. These are all really important things in making this more affordable for our family to have access to this. What does type one diabetes mean? Think of Hulk, Pop Dex, Pump. And what do these things do to help you? Make me feel better. We do have access to a CGM as of last year. Getting that approval letter via email was like Christmas morning. Dead in bed syndrome is a real thing. It's terrifying and it does happen. Without the Dexcom alerts in the night, Mason may not be here in the morning. A CGM has been a life changer in our family. Being able to sleep at night, being able to look at my watch, look at my phone at any given time, which I do check a lot. I know that he is in safe range and if he is not, I can call the school and say, hey, I think you need to check on Mason. Something's going on with him. Whereas before we wouldn't have that. It's an exhausting, emotional, mentally, physically burden that we have, but it's our children and this is the only choice we have. You know, having access to this technology is imperative for your social mental well-being. It is imperative for your physical health. You feel more like a person. You feel, you know, more prepared to be able to tackle each day and tackle each moment and be able to move on instead of always living in fear. A lot of people don't have the financial means to have access to these devices. It's not easy to get, it's brutal. This should be available to every Canadian that has type one diabetes. Thank you.